Hey guys, this is... Oh wow, this isn't even... Can I be heard well? What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, hey guys, this is Saint from Broadway and Airsoft. No, no, it's Some... something you're dick in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Volaclaw is just getting in the way. Uh, hey guys, this is Saint from Broadway and Airsoft. Sometime last weekend, uh, we reached 50 subscribers, and that's. Fuck around the budget! <laughs> you know, no, I can't even edit that out. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna keep it. <laughs> Sometime last weekend, we, we, we reached 50 subscribers, and that to me is honestly incredible, and I just want to say thank you. I it, it couldn't have been done without you guys, and just seeing how... Great, you, he dropped the pencil. Uh, and I'm here with Gotsman. Uh, so we're just going to answer... Uh, most of... You guys have asked questions over the past few months, and we're just going to answer them. He's here with me to get more of a perspective, and we're just going to jump right into it. First question... How did you get started making YouTube videos? <clears throat> it first started off with me just getting a GoPro and I just started making videos for the fun of it and then eventually uploaded them to YouTube and I did have a lot of fun with it and that's why I keep doing what I do. Uh, how long have you played Airsoft? Uh, both of us, uh, about five years, have owned an Airsoft gun. Yeah, probably around that. Yeah, both of us have owned an airsoft gun for about five years, but we didn't start playing in competitive fields until about four years, I would say. Yep. Um, how can I get started in airsoft? Uh, this is a really commonly asked question, and there's many ways to interpret it. Um, airsoft can be, and it, like, just, or sorry, let me. Well, here's one thing I, I would suggest. Um, first off, if you're new to Airsoft, what you want to probably look into is not starting off with, like, really good gear. Get a nice, simple $100 Airsoft gun around that that's, it's an AEG, something that's nice, not too expensive. You don't need to go all out in gear, just play a few games, see if you like it. And if you do end up liking it and want to do more with Airsoft, all you need to do is just get better gear and just start from there. That's what we did. Yeah, um, you don't really even need to spend Airsoft uh, it may not, like, you can play it, but in, in the end, you may not even like it. What I do recommend, if you have a few friends that do play the sport, I highly recommend that you would borrow a rifle of theirs and just try it out and see if you like it. Because if you went out and got a bunch of high-end gear, you may not like it and then you'd be stuck with it. But definitely, I would not start off with something incredibly expensive. You don't need to go all out. You can even just keep low-end gear and just use that as long as you have fun doing it um you want to add anything to that all right what was your best and worst moment um best moment in my opinion for me was sneaking up behind people and obviously wouldn't cut them because i use a rubber knife but slowly glided across their throat whispering safety kill remember the this is a rubber knife it can't cut and it didn't harm anyone in my opinion, it was just a very funny moment. It hurt my feelings. I got him at one point. Um, worst moment, um, regardless of any field, unfortunately, there will be cheaters. The best thing to do is just move on and not make a big deal out of it. The worst moment was uh, one particular group of people that really didn't like to call hits and they would just shoot dead people and... It, it just was an unpleasant time, but hopefully they I won't be finding them at the field. What do you think your best and worst moment is? I don't know. Oh, my best moment is one time when I was in church. Oh, no. I got to meet some guy named Jesus. Okay. Worst moment. He went next to Jesus. Oh, God. What is your preferred style in playing? Um, I like to go stealthy. Uh, I've tried many positions. I, I was a shotgunner, sniper, uh, submachine gun, just about everything. Uh, I certainly like being a marksman because it will give me the capability of getting up close and personal with a pistol and slowly creeping up on your enemies and literally stalking and haunting them or just hunting them down one by one. That was pretty fun. Uh, so I would go with stealth and just using accuracy from a long range. What do you think yours is? I would probably uh, prefer stealth uh, rather than I get lit up, rather 
be the one shooting people from behind. And or if that's not the day to do it for me, I would just rather just be support, just support friendly, uh, not friendly fire, but um, LMG. Type yeah, thing. yeah, support, give supporting fire to my team. Uh, next question. Do you take requests? Yes, I do. <clears throat> you can request uh, types of videos in terms of how I'll edit them. I've filled out a couple of requests over the uh, past year. And if you have any certain songs, or any requests for that matter, just message me or comment down below. And if we like them, I'll definitely do that for you. Uh, how often are there going to be funny moment montages and edited videos with music? I really like them. Um, with edited videos, it really depends on how well the day plays out. If there's well lit conditions and everything is seen and uh, heard quickly, then I would definitely be <clears throat> putting a edited video with added song and with funny moment montages. Um, it's really up to you guys. I can either put one video of funny moments every few games or do a more large compilation like previous videos. So just comment down below on what you would prefer. Um, how often are there going... Or That was the exact same question. Great. How did you get started in Airsoft? Um, I believe, Gutsman, you were the first one to get Airsoft gun. Yeah, my brother had one, <clears throat> and I was just like, Yo, can I have a gun, Dad? <laughs> so he got me one for Christmas, and I used that. I think I, I did, he, there were actually two. My brother didn't yeah, want one of them. So, actually, <laughs> I broke one of them the one day I got it already. I don't even know how it happened, but it just blew up for some reason. But, yeah, um, otherwise, then I used the other one, and it, it started to uh, do, get kind of fun. At first, I didn't really want to go to uh, outdoor fields or any fields in general. Um, but then eventually, uh, for my birthday, I took me and my friends, and we went ASO thing. Yeah, uh, I believe he had the AK was his first weapon. I saw it, tried it out, really liked it, and eventually I just got my own little MP5. And the blue. Yeah, it sucked, whatever. It was a starting gun, <clears throat> but at least I had fun that day. Um, yeah, just shot targets and then eventually went to an outdoor field, and I really got involved in the sport. Um, what was the funniest moment when playing? Uh, <clears throat> an outdoor field, there was this one group of people called the Brothers. Uh, everything they did was just full-on outrageous. It was, uh, they were just really, really, really funny people. The things that they could come up with on the spot was really funny, and just their shenanigans overall. But, yeah, every moment that I spent with the Brothers, I, I believe I met them during uh, Tears of the Sun. What do you think your funniest moment was? Huh. I don't know. Uh, I, I really liked the time we uh, tactical piggybacked. <laughs> A lot of people are liking that. And it may come back uh, very soon, actually. We just got to find the right time and uh, place to do it. Uh, how can I improve myself in the sport? Uh, just working out. I'm not saying to go find the biggest thing you can find and smash it. Uh, what I recommend is toning and calisthenics type stuff, like running and swimming, which is, uh, what we do. And it really does help out a lot. Uh, you have any, like... Also, some people, uh, when starting <laughs> SF, one of the main reasons why you might not do as well as you hope to do is because you always have this fear of being hit by the airsoft BB, but really, um, like, I, I used to have that fear for actually a really long time, but, uh, I don't have any more, I just, uh, the first time I went to B-52, it was just a lot of fun, I just, I don't know, just threw it out the window, and I didn't care when I got hit. That's a really good answer. Uh, where do you see your channel going? Uh, uh, Evan. Uh, no. Uh, I'm just trying to do it for as long as possible. It will probably go for a few more years as long as I'm doing the sport. I may branch off into other th things like gaming if the opportunity comes, but for now I'm just going to be making videos from games by doing uh, each round that I've at the game and just do a raw upload. And then hopefully I'll be able to make together and edit it and then maybe some extra silly stuff as well. Uh... How long have you been in Broadwing? Both of us, uh, Saint and Gotsman here. 
uh, we're pretty much the main people that created our little band or group of people. And how long do you think this has been an actual thing? I think uh, springish. Yeah. Yeah, sometime last spring. So we've been a team for almost a year now. Uh, and that's all the questions. Uh, thank you guys for just the support and just making this what it is today. It really couldn't have been done without you guys. I'm really grateful for it. And I believe that we can make it to 100 subscribers and keep on going strong. Thanks for watching. Yeah, see you guys.